We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Around the 27 yard. A couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. He's got his man across the middle. Well, this is just outstanding execution by the quarterback and the wide receiver. I mean, you look at that throw and you think, oh my gosh, what are you doing? You're throwing that into coverage. But only he knows the confidence that he has in his wide receiver to have the ability to come down with the football for that first down. That's big time there between the quarterback and the wide receiver. He's brought down in the open field. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he's tackled in the open field. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. Throws this one out to the left. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. He's on the run. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 75-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. Good play here. Getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense. Out of bounds, right around the 42-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the 42. That's a great tackle. The 36-yard line. Wow, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
And I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there where they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. And he's taken down at the 25. Utah is up by a touchdown. Throws it in a hurry. He's to the 40. Right down around the 43 yard line. They work the outside. He's tackled by the 47 yard line. like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds from the 47 yard line it's second down finds his man and they take him down immediately Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. He goes out of bounds at the 28-yard line. about the 27-yard line. Utah is up seven. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Defense looked like it jumped early. Offside. Defense. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. It's first and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. He's hit before he can go anywhere. That'll be a pickup of a yard. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Boy, he put so much heat on that ball, I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. This is the 13th play of this drive. Get him in the backfield for a loss. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one yard line. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle right around the four-yard line. We're through one quarter. Utah's lead is a touchdown.
And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Four down, four down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Ready. Black 98. We've got a safety. It's all a matter of taking care of the football, knowing where you are on the field, and not making mistakes. A safety is almost always a breakdown in one of those categories. He's out to the 30. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Makes it out to about the 43. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. And he's tackled after positive yardage. his way to the 29-yard line. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 12. will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Good throw, caught, touchdown. Kirk, how about that touchdown? I thought the quarterback made a nice read right here. He checked off his receivers and went to the open running back. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice six play, 67 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The last drive not only failed to produce points, but it cost them two. Defenses get a big boost when they can score safety. So expect to see these guys flying to the ball in this possession, too. Fires it out. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets it. He's in space. Inside the 30. Knocked out of bounds around the 25-yard line. What a play. What a play is right. Here they throw the ball to the tight end, and the big guy shows that he's valuable not only as a blocker, but as a receiver as well. Nice catch. Now it's first and 10 with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. And down he goes at the 17 yard line. Number 25 with the tackle at the 17 yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Mike Seven! Mike Seven! Ready. And that sets them up for the first and goal. Number 12 brings him down at the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. He's taken down at the six. From the six-yard line. 
It's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Finds the tight end for a touchdown. That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. And he tacks on the extra point. Brigham Young ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good that makes it second and six. senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. From the 42-yard line, second down. On the throw, incomplete pass. Number six was the intended receiver on the way. That brings us third and 10. 41's coming, 41's the mic. Larry, Larry, Larry. Watch 48, watch 48. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game and sometimes you know Herbie it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball get him to the free throw line get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do they gotta get the ball in his hands somehow I agree with you 100 percent I mean it's just a matter of just one play one touch can get this guy going because he has that kind of ability and up to this point they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball good credit a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan but now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he tackles him hard at the 46. Brigham Young will take their second time out of the half. First and 10. Ball on the 46. Five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. Got an opening. <laughs> He's going to try and scramble. He has some room. Good tackle there in space. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Lucky 95. 
They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 17. They come out on an empty backfield. Red, 85, hot. Now he's scrambling. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. That was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. He's scrambling. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. The Cougars using their third and final timeout. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Utah, up six. He makes his way out to about the 35. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The Utes in front by six. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gets out to about the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. at the 40-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Seven. 
They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. the 35 yard line this quarterback definitely has some confidence in his arm Kirk it sure looks that way that was well covered by the defense and he still got it in there here's the eighth play of the series let's go 59 Philly 59 Philly Brought down at the 29 yard line number 21 the intended receiver on the play That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and four. four. It's the ninth play of the drive. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Yeah. Good hot. Good hot. Gets to about the 27-yard line. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. It's second and 13. Ball on the 27-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Pressure and brought down. Play 13 of the current drive. Mike seven. Mike seven. Here we go. He's looking for six. He's all the way home. Touchdown. The wide out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. The coverage just couldn't keep up with him there. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. He makes the PAT. A 13-play, 74-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The score now, 17-16. Brigham Young lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars coaching staff's got to be elated over on the sideline about what they plan to do with this wide receiver and the plan's coming to fruition. Absolutely, and they continue to be able to find ways to get him the football. That's the thing that's been probably most impressive, not just his ability, but how they've moved him around and got the football to him in different ways. It makes it very tough on the defense. their own 38 yard line it's second down Mike 22 he's coming 22 is coming Mike Mike you don't want to go one and off up the middle and he's stuffed that'll bring up third and And he's got all the time in the world. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. At the 30. That's a great tackle at the 22. Looks 
to his back, and he's got him again. And they make the stop at the 14-yard line. throws it away and so it's another third down upcoming here makes it to the 12 yard line Gets to about the eight yard line. No game. That makes it third and seven. So at the end of three, BYU in front, 17 16. Just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Three down, three down. Mike 41. We've got a wedge down. Huh? Watch the motion. Watch the motion. 68. Touchdown, and they take the lead. So the momentum has swung one way. Will it swing back the other? The offense taking the field right now will have the answer for it. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. He scrambled. He's got the two. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down right around the 24-yard line. Excellent punt. He's tackled at the 40. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Utah up seven points. He lets it fly. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Inside the 30. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made around the 23-yard line. Come out in a five wide set. The tailback picks up a solid seven yards on the counter play. That'll make it 
pulls it in and gets out of bounds. Joseph moves and he's in. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's hit and taken down. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. Gets it. He's in space. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. First down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's tackled right away. First down. You don't want that. Here we go. Fires quickly to the tight end. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. The throw caught. Touchdown. Big pass play for the score, and we're down to a one-score game. And he converts the extra point. Free kick, kick out, out of bounds. bounds. Kicking, Kicking team. team. You know, there are a lot of things that can go wrong on an onside kick, but Still kicking the ball down. out of bounds is one of the last things you'd be worried about. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Runs it, and he stopped short of the line of scrimmage. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Throws 
almost complete, and he's hit right away. Almost six yards on the play action. i got to give credit to the receiver here for getting separation from the coverage and making a good catch on the play. It's up, and he splits the uprights. Now that really puts the pressure on. Yeah, that was definitely a big field goal because now that puts him up by two scores, and there's not much time left on the clock. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Now you're getting into pretty desperate time. You've got to be going for the end zone and just hope you can recover the onside kick. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He's going to go for the home run, and he makes the catch. And he's taken down at about the 13. That gives him 100 yards in the game. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. He's tackled at the five. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. And he stops the clock with his fight. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Illegal touching. Offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, Still and they're shooting down. themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Under a minute left in the game. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Hey, you don't want to see me. Ready? Gets to about the 11-yard line. They'll line up at the 11. Second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. And the ball game's over, and our final score on this one, 34-24. Use. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup. And boy, was it fun to watch. That wraps things up for us, 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.